In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are shining a light on the escalating cancer crisis here in Nevada for both women and men. The numbers from the American Cancer Society are alarming. They sure are. Nevada faces a higher death rate than other parts of the country. And those on the front lines of the fight know a lack of medical personnel is also an issue here. This is Summer Rain. She's my old mare. Summer Rain? Yeah, she's an old thoroughbred. Two-time breast cancer survivor Patty Kellerhouse is at her happy place at her Henderson barn. It gives me a place to go when I'm feeling anxious about my disease or, right. or about anything. Patty is a volunteer with the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network. She was working as a cancer researcher for a clinical drug trial for Verzenio when she received her second breast cancer diagnosis. Ironically, I got my diagnosis the same month, October of 2017, when they got FDA approval. I ended up taking that drug along with anti-estrogen. Patty has been her own advocate. Only 31% of metastatic breast cancer patients survive past five years, so I'm pretty lucky. But not everyone is. Three years ago, I lost my best friend, Felicia, of 20 years, who I met at Channel 13, to breast cancer. She told me that there was a real inadequacy when it comes to black and brown people versus white women. That's true. I mean, it's about 40% of black women are dying more than white women. Patty says access to care and screenings are an issue. And studies are being done on whether genetic factors are involved in the higher cancer rates among black and brown women. A lot of it's just not getting the care they need. While Patty says organizations like the American Cancer Society are working to address those disparities, Patty says when it comes to cancer treatment, a lot of people choose to leave Nevada. Well, UCLA or Huntsman Cancer Center or Mayo Clinic in Arizona is probably your best bet for that type of um, teaching hospital. And so that's what we need here in Vegas. Comprehensive Cancer Center's oncologist, Dr. Rupesh Parikh says, recruiting doctors is another concern. Nevada isn't a top choice and fewer people are entering the field. Oncology is a field where the number of cancer doctors is going to keep declining through 2030 is what's predicted. Um, just because there's going to be more retirements than more graduations. Dr. Parikh says that puts pressure on the field. So we're looking into other ways we can expand using our nurse practitioners, our physician assistants to help see some of these patients. And here in Nevada, according to the American Cancer Society, there's another problem and Patty has seen it. We definitely need more radiologists. Um, that we definitely have a, a void. Uh, people are waiting and waiting for their treatments, you know, to get their scans. But Patty says there is some hope. We also know of uh, a 501c3 that started this year. It's called the Las Vegas Cancer Institute, and they want to fill a lot of these gaps. Still, both Patty and Dr. Parikh stress the importance of being your own advocate. Everyone should have stream. There's no excuse like, I don't have insurance, I don't know what to do. Because if you have the diagnosis, we can get help, we can get funding to you and treat. And the group Patty is a part of, the Pink Paddlers Dragon Boat Team, is looking for more volunteers. Also, JFSA is also hosting Help Hope Support, a brunch to support its new breast cancer support program. And I will be hosting that event at Red Rock Resort November 19th. For more information on resources in this fight, just go to fightcancer.org and cancer.org.